Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries where we need to travel to Rennell at this point. And that is 13 days away, which is actually perfect timing. The Shadowhawk will be done in 12. So let's head right on in. We should have everything except for the Wolverine refit at this point. And we don't expect the Wolverine to be refit for a while. So let's just pop in here and we're going to do basically the same thing we did before where we're not going to dive in too deep. This is going to be probably a very similar. Wow, that's a um, very spicy looking world. Okay, we're not going to dive in too deep here. I'm a little bit concerned. We want to poke around the edges and that's absolutely what we're going to end up doing. So we're going to hop into the contracts here. This is still a difficulty 24 assassination here. There's still Northwind Highlander territory here, and we will see if that ends up being a thing. We'll see. So I'm going to put one point into damage coverage. I'm going to put the rest into salvage shares. Or am I? No, I want to max the salvage shares, just in case we actually get something halfway decent. So we'll confirm that, and we're at 185 tons right now. I want to swap out the Cicada for the Assassin, for sure something like that this is the highest tonnage lance that we can field at this point so that is fine the assassin is a 40 ton so it's the same as the cicada but the assassin is in my opinion a slightly better mech than the cicada slightly it's not a great mech <laughs> that's for sure and this is the ac2 variant of the vulcan i'd rather have a ppc in that but here we are okay let's do this this is going to be interesting once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Wow. All right. Today's target is Tai Hester Troy. He's defected from the Draconis Combine and is now working as a mercenary among a group called the Blue Star Irregulars. This is a big bounty, so let's cash in on it. Package acquired. Okay, so that uh, was a very weird place for salvage, but sure. Let's see what we've got up here. These checkpoints are pretty far apart, so that's good for us. Enemy spotted. That's a VTOL right there. It's a ways out there. I'm not too concerned about it. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Our target must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. Okay. Tango smoked. Acquired. That's a partisan. Okay. Target Get out of here. I got it. And that's a VTOL up there. Okay. Target destroyed. Excellent. So let's move on here. We took very little damage at the first checkpoint. I'm expecting some serious resistance at the second checkpoint. Also, I'm seeing these uh, the, these shots. Ooh, Target hello. Acquired. That's a turret. Large laser turret. Target destroyed. Okay, and that is, I think, also dead. I think it just died. Cool. So I was saying I was seeing these shots in the skybox here. I don't think they're shooting at anything in particular. I think it just is there to look cool. <laughs> but they're shooting from, like, right down here. Yeah, it's these guys that are shooting. Hmm, that partisan is actually New still alive over there. Urban mech. So that's an urban mech. Focus the commander's target. And we're just going to poke around over here target. at these well, edges, there. right? It's one of the more tanks. Destroy it. You mean the partisan that was out over here? I don't think that was a marked tank. There's a harasser out here. It's out of range. Target acquired. What are you? There's something right up over here that we can't quite see. You can see it moving, though. Looks like maybe a locust. Locusts aren't a big threat. So let's move in on this Irby. Target and there we go. Destroyed. He's down. Target Ooh, that's acquired. a medium. Phoenix Hawk. Focus the Phoenix Hawk. Target destroyed. New target, Centurion. Hang on. Okay, so commander. that's our target. 
There's also a Centurion there, so let's work on eliminating this Phoenix Hawk as quickly as we can. Need to unzoom here. Okay. Weapon systems have redlined. I need to eject. Well, are you going to? He, he's not going to eject, I don't think. He has no weapons left. Incoming missile. Target acquired. Mech eliminated. Okay. All right. Hester Troy is dead. And our Draconis employers will surely be happy. Now, get to the evac so you can live to cash that check. Yeah. Now That's a Jenner there and a Centurion. I think we just kind of want to get out of here, to be honest. I don't see any real reason in terms of mechs to stick around here, in terms of salvage or anything. So I kind of just want to go. New target, fire starter, incoming missile. Okay, this fire starter is a bit of a problem, of course. Not DFAS, please. Kill confirmed. Thank you. Okay, Lieutenant Gates with the kill confirmed. Nice. Let's get out of here. I don't see good salvage here, so we're just bailing. Target destroyed. Cool. Well, that was relatively easy as long as we're not trying to get any of the salvage there, which there was a Centurion there, but I'm really not too concerned about that. So we can salvage that Phoenix Hawk. And honestly, it's a 45 tonner. We may as well take it. And we can also take this large laser. So that seems great. Let's do that right now. We took a decent amount of damage there. That's not too bad. The defector and their associates are dead put down like mongrels. Without honor, they are worse than Ronin. Their dishonor will be a stain on their descendants for generations to come. You are welcome to their supply of surplus Davian goods. The Draconis Combine has no need for such build. Of course, it's a bunch of autocannons. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, Draconis Combine. Never change. So we reached reputa reputation rank seven. That is wonderful. And at this point, we need to speak to Fahad. So we don't know where else we need to go. In terms of our mechs, these mechs, how much time would it actually take to repair the Shadowhawk? 21 days? Okay. I'm just thinking right now about how long it'll take to get all of these repaired and whether we want to just go to an industrial hub to do it. So, let's see here. This is going to be 617,000 C-Bills. We probably want to do that. Okay, let's go speak with Fahad, and let's see what he's got. Hey, mate. These bleeding mechs are going to put me in an early grave. Fix one bloody thing and someone else goes to shit. Of course, he doesn't help you pilots treat them like you're in some kind of demolition derby or something. You know the phrase, cost an arm and a leg? Ah. Uh, it was made for you make jokes. No worries though, eh? For hard will fix them up good as new. Nothing better to do, eh? All right, that's me, mate. Rough day, what can I say? Best go on and let me get back to work. But no worries, Commander. It'll be better than you when I'm done with them. You have my word. Well, okay then. So now we need to speak with Rihanna. I'm not sure what the point of talking with Fahad there was. I, I don't feel like he had that much to add, to be honest. That's just kind of a general mech tech opinion, but sure. What do you got, Rihanna? Commander, I've got great news. Having identified the pattern that Black Inferno have been leaving in their wake, I've been able, with the help of Spears, to track some of their movements. We're trying to home in on their base of operations. For the moment, we don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, but I think it's only a matter of time now. That's great. Spears has been working closely with me on this. He just sent this transmission. Take a listen. Rihanna, using the information you sent me and by correlating the refugee movements we've been tracking, I ordered my intelligence people to start focusing their efforts on a very specific region of space. I was hoping to pinpoint infernal activity in as close to real time as possible. My gamble paid off. 
It appears that Inferno forces recently seized a refinery from a private consortium and are using the fuel reserves to help power their operations. Commander, this refinery represents a high-value target. By attacking it, you can deliver Inferno the first blow of many on your way to dismantling their operation and getting revenge for your father's death. I have no doubt that's been your plan since the day Inferno struck Cavalier base. I'll help in any way I can. I've started by sending you the coordinates to the planet where the refinery is located, along with what little intel I was able to gather. It's not much, but enough so you won't have to go in completely blind. Good hunting, Commander. I'll be in touch. I've already added the coordinates into the nav system and put together a briefing from the intel spheres provided. Once you get us to that system, Commander, we can send them to hell, where they belong. Amen to that. Okay, so, um, I have a question. How much do we trust Spears? I don't have an answer to that question. I just have the question. So we need to view our transmission here for sure. All right, Commander, there's a civilian settlement on the way to the refinery. Spears wants us to protect it from Inferno forces. He has an interest in safeguarding it, for whatever reason, and he's willing to pay us for our efforts. Our second primary objective is the refinery's fuel storage depots. There's three of them. We blow those up, we help starve Inferno of the fuel they obviously need. The way into the refinery itself is fortified. Once you get past the initial defenses and gain entry, expect stiff opposition. They won't let go of their prize without a fight, so watch your back. Good luck. Okay, so this is going to be in Footfall. Where is this? Down here. Okay, so there's definitely this industrial hub on the way down to Footfall. So I think that we go to, like, New Hessen here. We travel here right now. And then here is where we set up our repairs. And then we travel the rest of the way. That's the idea, anyway. And then the question is, do we want to build up our funds at all before we actually do this? I don't know. It kind of depends on the difficulty of this mission, I think. I do want to hop into our battle mechs, of course, and get these guys repaired. So we're just going to go through these nice and quick. None of them should have taken significant damage. But then we've got the Phoenix Hawk, right? And the Phoenix Hawk, I would like to repair all on. Which apparently just works. But I'm going to drop the jump jets off of it because I prefer to have armor over jump jets. So max that armor. That puts us at 43.93. So we have basically an extra, an extra ton to work with here. Do MGs not require ammo? In this game? I'm not noting any MG ammo here. We don't have any. Okay. Is there any on the market? Surprisingly, no. No MG ammo. Huh. No, there is. It's right here. So we have machine gun ammo and machine gun half ammo. We can just take a single ton of machine gun ammo... And we can put that... Oh, there is some on here in the CT. Hang on. That was only like 2,000 C-bills, so I'm not too concerned about that. We can move that over into the leg instead of being in the CT. I do not like ammo in the CT. I didn't notice it there. So that means that we still have a ton to work with. We could put an extra ton of machine gun ammo in. We could put a single heat sink in. That is a theoretical option. Alternatively, what else are we interested in? Honestly, I think the loadout of this is reasonably fine. We could swap the large laser over for... A PPC is 7 tons, not 6. We would need like an ER PPC for that, and it's way too early for that. We could, however, bring this up to a large laser short burst. Like so. And then the medium laser, we could upgrade to a tier 2 medium laser. Like this. And then, do we have a second tier 2 medium laser? We actually do. So we can do something like... That didn't go into the slot. There we go. Something kind of like that. Okay. So we can get this Phoenix Hawk nearly up to its armor cap. But not quite there. We're going to be 0.07 tons shy. And I'm okay with that. This is a good amount of extra armor. 
So let's go ahead and start that work. That's going to take 63 days. The Phoenix Hawk is not going to be ready any anytime soon. However, the, the uh, Wolverine is ready. So we can swap out the Wolverine for something like the Assassin or the Vulcan. Either of these would be reasonably good to swap. I'm going to swap it, I think, for the... The Vulcan is slightly less armored, isn't it? No, the Assassin is once it's repaired. We'll determine this once we get to our destination. So, we're going to head over to Footfall. This is Recommended Reputation 7. I'm thinking about maybe popping back up over this way and building up some salvage. Potentially. Up in the Dabian Borderlands conflict region. So there is an objective raid contract X2 here and an infiltration contract over here. I'm strongly considering doing this. I'd like to get more salvage and this will buy us a little bit of time for mech repairs on the way down to footfall. So let's go ahead and head over this direction. So that gets us 13 days elapsed. Let's check our timeline and see what all is repaired. Now, objective raids are not usually the best for salvage, but it might not be terrible either. So that's probably fine. Let's check our timeline here. Okay, so we're just working on the Phoenix Hawk at this point. That's a good long-term project. We're not going to progress time for that. So let's hop into contracts here, and we've got these two. They're difficulty 19. That doesn't seem too bad. Okay, we can do both of these, so let's accept this one. I'm going to go for maxing out the salvage shares, and then we're probably just going to go for sea bill payout for the for the rest here. So something like this is what we're going to go for. We're mostly here for salvage, but building up sea bills, not a bad thing either. Okay, so we are slightly over tonnage. That means that we could drop the assassin down to the Jenner. We would need another 35 tonner in place of the Vulcan, though. Noted. We could just bring this down to the urban mech and call this good. That's a theoretical possibility. I'm not super happy about it, but let's go ahead and launch this. It's just an objective raid. It shouldn't be very difficult. A skill night, or rather difficulty 19, so that drops down our maximum tonnage a bit. I still think it's weird that the maximum tonnage is just limited to, to the contract difficulty. But whatever. Okay, so. New target, Javelin. Okay, th that's definitely a target Javelin. Acquired. Affirmative. Commander's target is now priority. Raptor unit prosecuting mercenary mix. That was a good hit with the SRM, sir. I like it. Javelin definitely not doing so well there. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Oh, we got some salvage there. Ooh, Ooh this is a green salvage? We haven't seen one of these yet. Close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. I wonder what that is. Target acquired. Target received. Engaging. That's a Shadowhawk. Okay. Focus that Shadowhawk for right now. Okay. Took his arm off. I like it. A little out of range for the SRMs there, really. Or at least at this angle. Not a great SRM angle there. That's much better. Shadowhawk shouldn't last much longer here. Oh, oh, that's a hunchy. I want that hunchy. Where's that hunchback at? He went off over this way. Target acquired. Attacking oh, that's a scorpion. Okay. I don't really care about the scorpion. It's this guy that I want. We'll see if we're able to salvage this hunchback. This would be a really good mech for us to get. This is a swayback. Okay, sure. 
Target acquired. That is noted. Let's eliminate some of these tanks while they're softening up the Hunchback. I don't expect Target that Hunchback destroyed. to die for a little while yet. Okay. So this guy's gonna have some heat issues if we manage to sell them. But there he goes. So the hunchback is down at this point. That's a scorpion. I don't really care about it very much. I'd love to salvage the hunchback, even though it is a laser variant. I would prefer the autocannon variant on it, but I'll, I will take a laser variant. That would be amazing. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Okay, so it's up Missile. over here. Target acquired. Moving on, Lance target. That's a Centurion, okay. We're gonna start working on that Centurion. The more ballistics, the merrier. Target acquired. Okay, so there's a Scorpion light tank out over here. I also was hoping to get a decent angle on this Centurion. Target acquired. There's actually multiple Centurions here. Mm, he didn't keep moving that way. That's unfortunate. Now we have his attention. Okay. Incoming missile. I want to take out this vehicle. There we go. Kind of feel like we need to move in a bit here. This is an AC-10 Centurion. Okay. Target. Ooh, I want to take out the Scorpion, too. Target. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Okay, there's a lot of mechs here. Incoming missile. There's a lot going on here. Heavy There's a whole lot happening right now. We have lost basically all of our units. Okay. That is absolutely noted. We need to just go for the objective here. Ow. Yeah, this is going to be bad. They sustained heavy damage. I'm going quick. I can't do anymore. I have to bail. Target destroyed. Okay. Incoming missile. Falling in, Commander. This is going to be way too much damage. I don't know if there's any way to withdraw in this game. We need to just go for the objective here. And I'm still unclear on where that objective is. There's the loop. Okay. We gotta grab this, and we gotta go. All target buildings have been destroyed, Commander. Good job. Getting you an evac now. Head to the Mort location. Well, we're definitely going to have to go to the industrial hub after that one. That was a very, very, very rapid escalation. No doubt about that. We gotta get out of here. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Surprisingly, our urban mech is still alive. Although I don't think it has anything. The Shadowhawk didn't take all that much damage. I mean, it took a fair amount of damage, but we're out of here. Let's, Let's see if we manage to get any salvage out of that. Job well done. Okay. As far as I know, there's no way to withdraw from the field in MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. There might be, I might be wrong about that, but we'll see. Okay, so we managed to complete that. We got some payout. There is the Hunchback here. Unfortunately, we have 15 shares and it costs 17. So we can't take the Hunchback. We could take the Shadowhawk or we could take the Centurion. And I'm going to go for the Shadowhawk here. So, I mean, that's fine. I would really prefer to get the Hunchback. That would be ideal. But unfortunately, that's just not an option right now. So we're going to take the Shadowhawk, and we're going to take this AC-5. Now, we took a lot of damage here. Lieutenant Gates died as well. So that is understood. He had a lot of damage. No doubt about that. So at this point, we got to go to not do this. We got to go to the Industrial Hub. So over to Kansu we go. 
And we have a lot of repairs to queue up here. We also would like to hire a new pilot if there is one here. That would be a good thing. How many pilots do we have right now? I think we have one spare currently. Uh, let's see. We have... Yeah, we've got four at this moment. Leon Freeman is currently injured for another 50 days, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's going to take us a while to get this all online. Okay, so let's head into the loadout here. Let's just hit the repair all button here and see, did this all get done? Not this AC-5 burst fire. Okay. So we have an AC-5 rapid fire that we can put in there. So this is basically the same setup as our current Shadowhawk, right? We can drop the jump jets. We can drop the LRM-5. Single heatsink, I would like to move to the CT. We can move the SRM ammo here. The LRM ammo is going to be removed. The AC-5 ammo, actually, that should go here. SRM ammo goes here. And then we've got this SRM-2, and we'd like to put an SRM-6 in this if we want this to be the same loadout as our current Shadowhawk, right? We max this armor, 54.93, and we would like to have, if I recall correctly, we added an additional half ton of ammo here. I'd like to upgrade this medium laser as long as we're at it to something like this. And this is broadly similar to what we have, right? We'll upgrade the SRM2 like that. And then I believe that we dropped a little bit of armor in order to get a half ton of AC-5 ammo. I don't know if there's a half ton of AC-5 ammo available right now. Let's just check. What do we got? Uh, AC-5 half ammo. Yeah, go ahead and purchase that. So that seems good. We'll put in an AC-5 half ammo over here. And then, of course, we need to drop down this armor. So I'm just going to strip the armor, and then I'm going to max the armor again. And that puts us exactly at 55, like that. And this is the same loadout, almost exactly, as our existing Shadowhawk. So this is kind of a backup Shadowhawk. We'll go ahead and queue that up for now. And then our existing Shadowhawk, of course, just needs repairs. Nothing too major here. Uh, I wanted to do this with just the Shadowhawk. Okay, this Centurion... Oh, we did repair everything? Okay, I'm assuming that the Jenner... The Jenner is the one that has damaged weapons. Okay, let's cancel that one, and let's repair just this mech. Um, I want to go into the loadout, and let's make sure that everything is getting replaced. Not the SRM4 stream. Okay, so we can replace that with this SRM4 stream. And beyond that, this will be good. Okay, can start work on that. And we lost a lot of money. That's not surprising. But we did get a Shadowhawk out of it, so that's not terrible. I would have preferred the Hunchback. Unfortunately, that just was not an option. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to get some of these pilot, or this pilot recovery done, probably. I would like to hire one more mech warrior. That is going to be a thing that we're going to need. And eventually, we're going to get these mechs ready to go. So we need the... We need some of these mechs, definitely. But we don't necessarily need all of them good to go. So that is understood. We'll need to prune this down at some point. But for now, this'll do. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.